swarm in their aqua blue uniforms and the purple and white trim. And with the 905, they're in their white uniforms with the red and black trim. The officials are Matt Kaleo, Agon Abazi, and Clyde Mula. Opening tap, and here we go. The Raptors 905 with the opening possession of the game. 15 and 16 records so far during the NBA G League regular season. And floating in there and getting the first two of the game is Daryl Morcel. He scores the game's first two. And his head coach, Jordan Surenkamp, describes his playing personality as relentless. Rare miss at the free throw line, misses that one. And the rebound by the 905, who beat it by two. Gabe Brown, left-handed three. And the rebound saved by Simmons into the hands of Snead. Simmons inside. Oh, nice move inside. And Isaiah Whaley has seven first quarter points. 11-11 tie with four minutes gone by. Shot for three goes in. Oh, it's a two. They say foot on the line. Two by Gabe Brown. At a toe on the line, his second basket. He has five points. These two teams played last night. It was won by the Swarm, 118-116. Talked to Swarm coach Jordan Surenkamp before today's game. He said last night's win was fantastic. The team had four players out with injuries. Two more players were called up by the Hornets. This team had just six available bodies yesterday as there's an over and back by the Swarm. Only six available bodies yesterday had to recruit two G League players quickly in Jared Wilson frame and JJ Miles. Those two watched film for 15 minutes yesterday, got a crash course study on how this team likes to play. Those two guys competed hard last night and he says this team's effort last night really got the job done in the second half. Oh, nasty move inside by Kate Brown. He's already in double figures with 10 points. His first points of the day, it's a three. And he cuts the lead down to five at 28-23. And a steal of the Swarm, turnover on the 905. Numbers for the Swarm, in rhythm of three by J.J. Miles. Coin! Back-to-back threes by the Swarm, and they cut it down to two. And the 905 have their biggest lead of the day of 11 at 37 to 26. Simmons with 10 to shoot. Inside of Wilson, Frame who lays it in. Simmons has it. Shot clock inside of 10. Trev Scott thought about the three. Goes down the baseline to stand. Throws down, two-hand slam. Trev Scott faking the three, driving inside for a high percentage two. 47 to 43, the lead is down to four. He had 20 points and four threes and five rebounds last night and the hey, loss to the Swarm hey. misses that free throw. The 905, six of 10 hey, at the line. And the Swarm has Sims, Wilson, Frame, Daruji, Scott, and Whaley at the five of the floor. Shot for three goes in by Jalen Sims. His seventh points of the game and the lead is down to four at 58-54. About a two and a half second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Actually, three and a half second differential. Shot clock at seven, game clock at 10. Here's Sims working on Hawkins with three to shoot. Sims has to put it up, two to shoot. One running hander goes in. Swarm in the lead by five at 63-58 after being down for the most of the first half, including down 11 points at one point in the first quarter. Sims driving inside. The teardrop floater goes in by Jalen Sims, give him 14 points in the game. Swarm matches their biggest lead again of seven at 67 to 60. Sterling Brown, that's a three, and that's good. Sterling Brown, second three of the game for him. He has 10 points, he's in double figures. Here today for the 905. Sims wide open, hits a three. Jalen Sims. Third three of the game, he has 17 points. And he makes the free throw, one shot worth two. Points 20 and 21 for Whaley. He has 21 points, that ties his NBA G League regular season, season high this year. Sterling Brown, look out, another three, got it! A three by Sterling Brown, he's heating up. Five threes in the game, four in the third quarter. 19 points in the game for Sterling Brown. Simmons, the floater, yes. Out of the timeout taken by the Swarm. Swarm have a lead of four, 83-79. Three to shoot, Trev Scott notices it, fires up a three, and it goes in! They were down seven, now they're up six. 
Sneed in the paint. No, got his own rebound. Put back, yes. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth quarter. Can the Swarm get stops and makes? To try and get back into this game, down 14. Cutting down the baseline is Williams for the slam. And they pick up at the point of interruption on the offensive end for the Greens for the uh, 905. Here's Sterling Brown, another three. Not this time. Leaves it short. Rebound by Kobe Simmons for the Swarm. Simmons all the way. Left hand. Count the basket and a foul. And Kobe Simmons with a chance for a three point play opportunity and give him 20 points here in the game. The two teams have played four games against each other coming into today. The series is tied at two games apiece, two wins apiece. Whoever wins this game will win the series outright three games to two. Wide open is Marcel, and he hits a three. Daryl Marcel, that's his first three of the game. He has nine points. Swarm down 13. Here in the fourth quarter, Johnson stops on a dime. He finds Sterling Brown at the top. Morcell a three. No. Rebound on the weak side by Kobe Simmons for the swarm. Bullet pass inside to Whaley. Position inside against Johnson, and he banks it in. Sterling Brown barely gets across the half court line with the pass. Into David Johnson's hands. He'll just milk the shot clock. Shot clock inside of 10. Shot clock at five, here's Johnson. Johnson with two, puts up a shot for three at the shot clock buzzer, and it's off the glass and in. David Johnson, 29 points in the game, a new career high.